Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for my very first Blu-ray review. I mean hell, I haven't even done a review of a DVD yet. Anyway, this review is going to be different from the flick picks Blu-ray reviews because I will not be judging the Blu-ray based on the picture or audio quality. Instead, I will be discussing the special features. I mean, after all, special features are what I mainly buy Blu-rays for. Anyway, the first thing to bring up about the Blu-ray is the cover. The Blu-ray comes with three discs. One of the discs has the movie, one of them has the special features, and one of them has the DVD. And the DVD is something that I would never use. Seriously, I think it's fucking pointless to have a DVD included with a Blu-ray that I buy. If I wanted the DVD version, I would fucking buy the DVD version. But enough of that. I am going to be talking about the special features, so that is really what I want to be discussing. I would say that this is hands down the best Blu-ray I have ever gotten, ever. Now most Blu-rays have an hour of special features, maybe a bit more than that. But this Blu-ray has almost fucking four hours of special features. And the main special feature is of course the making of the movie. The makers don't just tell me overall the making of the movie. They tell me exactly how the movie was made, scene by motherfucking scene. They talk about literally every scene in the movie and how they were made and what the makers of the movie were thinking and stuff like that. Now some of you might say, well isn't that what movie commentaries are for? Well this is even better than movie commentaries. Because not only do I see Zack Snyder along with the rest of the crew, they also do more than just tell me how the movie was made. They also fucking show me. Yeah, I suppose that is common in special features. But it's not common that the makers of the movie show and talk about every little scene. In fact, that is pretty rare. Now they start by talking about the planet of Krypton. Now some people might have been bothered by the fact that the movie spent half an hour on Krypton. But I honestly think that's one of the most interesting parts about the movie. Because no other media of Superman, not Superman the movie, the animated series or even Smallville, show exactly what happened on Krypton before it was destroyed. And the makers of the movie really went out of their fucking way to make sure that Krypton in this movie was done right. It might have been shown in some of the comics, but I am talking about stuff besides the comics. Anyway, the makers of the movie really did a lot of fucking research on Krypton. They really were wondering how it would be like and they even researched the fucking language. And after knowing how much the makers of the movie went through to make that scene about Krypton, that made me appreciate the beginning of the movie even more. And Michael Shannon also had a lot of fun with his role as General Sword. He talks a lot about in this special feature how much fun he had playing a sword. And you know what? That made me like sword even more as a villain. The next scene that I'm going to talk about is the bus scene. You know the one where Clark Kent saves other children from a bus. This might look like a simple scene. But I was surprised when I found out that it took over a fucking week to make that one scene that looked simple. And during the making of the movie there wasn't actually a bus in the water. Instead there was a bus surrounded by fucking green screen. And the water was actually acted by computer effects. Well yes there was actual water used to fill the bus and the people involved in the movie had to know how to swim. But I am not talking about the water in the bus, I am talking about 
the water around the burst. That particular water was acted by computers. And there is also a fucking string used when Clark used his super strength. And the makers of the movie also discussed a lot about how Clark Kent was as a kid. Now some people might have been bothered by all these flashback scenes in the movie Man of Steel. But those flashback scenes actually had very good reasons to be there. And one of the makers of the movie talked about those scenes a lot. I appreciated those flashbacks even more. And Clark Kent really was scared when he first discovered his X-ray vision ability. Yeah, you can also clearly see that in the movie itself. But since I got to know why that scene was there and what the movie makers were thinking when making that scene, it really made me appreciate the movie even more. And also later on in the movie, Swords spaceship comes to Earth. Now Swords spaceship looks fucking awesome and very fantastic. But there really was no spaceship built on the set. Instead, the spaceship was for the most part CGI. Yep, CGI sure is used a lot in mega blockbusters these days. But it doesn't change the fact that the spaceship really did look fucking awesome. And the makers of the movie also explained exactly why S.W.O.R.D. wanted to destroy Earth. And even though I understand S.W.O.R.D.'s reasons for wanting to destroy Earth more, it doesn't change the fact that I think that S.W.O.R.D. is a fucking asshole in the movie. And you know what? That's exactly what makes him such a fucking awesome villain. Another thing that I must point out is that green screen is used a fucking lot during the making of this movie. I guess that should be just expected since Man of Steel is a mega blockbuster. But the thing is, I still thought it was very fucking cool how much green screen was used. Now the action scenes in the movie are of course fucking awesome. And when I got to see how the action scenes were made, that made me appreciate the action scenes even more. Of course, strings were used a lot when Superman and Sword were flying and punching each other. Of course, they had to use green screen in order for this to work. And most of the explosions were also made in a computer. That basically covers everything that I want to talk about regarding that special feature, the making of Men of Steel. But there is another special feature on this Blu-ray that I think is worth discussing, though I don't have a lot to say about it. The special feature is basically a small documentary stating that there are aliens in outer space. And that documentary was pretty much treating Krypton like a real planet. It is an interesting documentary, I will say that. But I have nothing else to say about that documentary than just that. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. If you fucking love the movie Man of Steel, I highly recommend you check this Blu-ray out. But if you hate the movie Man of Steel or think it's just decent, I can't really say that I recommend this Blu-ray. I mean, if you don't like the movie, why the hell would you care about the making of it? I know for a fact that I don't give a fuck about the making of movies that I hate. But yeah, the Blu-ray is fucking awesome and I fucking love it. That's all I gotta say, people. Thank you for watching the great day.